and gentlemen, my name is Krobos. Welcome back to Gears Feed. The smell of E3 is in the air. We are getting close, my friends. The Gears 5 cover art, or a version of it, appears to have graced our screens this morning as it's allegedly been leaked. The veracity of said image is unknown as I record this. If that changes, I'll let you know below. Before I cover this, I just want to say I don't condone covering leaked content that could essentially hurt a developer or spoil the surprise of leaked footage and content. However, I think a cover art video that may or may not even be real is okay for me to cover in my opinion. That's the decision I've made and it's everywhere at the moment anyway. This may be fake, probably is, I hope it is. Right, so you've had a good minute or so to process the image that stands before you. Does anyone else get the Disney film cover vibes when they look at this? The poster for a Marvel movie? Yeah, I certainly do. Which brings me to my first reservation on this box art. It differs drastically from what we're accustomed to with the traditional Gears of War covers. The main protagonist is usually centered with a full body shot surrounded by the rest of Delta or the current squad. With Gears 5's alleged cover we have here, for the most part, it's close-ups, facial portraits, or mostly the main character's upper body shots. This time round, even including the antagonists, Mira, we can see Swarm over there. Jack seems to have even made an appearance. It's a bit of a free-for-all, really. Are you in Gears 5? Well, congratulations, you've probably made the cover. Why has Marcus grown his beard back? Maybe they've changed it back for the final product, but as we saw in the Gears 5 cinematic trailer, Marcus was showcasing some fresh stubble as opposed to his glorious godlike beard of glory that we saw debut in Gears 4. Queen Mira. Right. There have been theories and suggestions that the Swarm were her contingency plan in case everything went to shit, and that the Locust Horde shall be returning in Gears 5. I've discussed this in a video yesterday, if you want to give that a watch. If Queen Mira was to return, it's a bit of a spoiler, isn't it? Just slapping her on the cover. Is it just to showcase her heritage to Kate? Will there be dreams and visions and flashbacks of Mira? Who knows? But if she isn't back, P.S. we saw Marcus shove a blade through her stomach, then it seems a bit much just to add her to the cover, no? There's an idea on Reddit posted a while ago that suggested that the Gears 5 cover would look similar to that of the Gears of War 2 cover, with Kate holding a Lancer and her Locust necklace, similar to what we saw with Marcus holding his cog tags with the Lancer in his hand. That would have been marvellous. It's quite a polarising image, from what I've been reading online, and the community seem fairly split on this. People think it's either brilliant, or quite frankly, a disaster piece. I personally am not a fan. I don't think it's to the same standard as previous entries. It may grow on me, but there's just so many questions that stand out. I mean, it looks fake, doesn't it? Really? There's also the chance that it could be the box art of some special or collector's edition. Now, that I can get on board with, because if you think about it, there's a lot of unutilized space. I'm thinking that's possibly space for review scores and comments from critics. You can see it, can't you, to help push the game that little bit harder. There's no doubt it'll end up being a game of the year contender. Also, looks like a Wolverine armored Cantus mutation over there on the left. Is, is this the next prime antagonist in Gears 5? Dell appears to be wielding some sort of flamethrower, maybe? Looks ruthless. Uh, you can also see Mount Kadar at the bottom there, which we will be making a return to. The characters have the same sort of aesthetic as they did in the Gears 4's cover art, to be fair. <sighs> if it is a fake, it's a bloody good one. And if it is, whoever you are out there who's just made me waste all this time. The leak also included a release date for Gears 5. September 10th. Way earlier than I personally anticipated, but it's a good window for them. I don't, I'm not sure about a Gears 5 beta now. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of time, but we'll see. She's looking a hell of a lot like her there, isn't she? Thank you for watching Gears Feed. As always, I hope I'll see you next time.